I got some fall clothing. I know I've been really inconsistent, but I swear it's gonna change soon, but no promises. At the same time, I am promising. In this video, I have a ton of clothing. That's because I was actually waiting around a week to film this video because a lot of the pieces that I did want to show were actually not with me. An opportunity came up, I loaned them, I got them back. And now we're good. First up, I got the Rick Owens Dark Shadow Creech Cargo. I know that there is. I've only seen one of the mainline pairs. I'm pretty sure Dark Shadow is just for more wearable clothing. Hoodies, jeans, cargos like this. Obviously, the materials are not as good as you would find in a mainline pair, which are super hard to come across, first of all. And one of the other details that I could notice is that the actual elastic. This isn't really elastic. It doesn't really do anything. But on the mainline pair, you'll actually see that it does come fully across the back. Doesn't really make that much of a difference, it's more so aesthetically, but I actually don't like this part of the pants because I always put my phone through it and it falls on the ground, so not the best design. However, I usually stray away from Rick pants just because of the poop crotch, the dump crotch, drop crotch, raindrop. But yeah, I usually stray away from that just because of the drop crotch. I do actually want the one pair of Rick Owens pants that doesn't have a drop crotch. Rick Owens Berlin sweats, if anyone has those, I need them ASAP, any colorway. prefer. Preferably ash or black whichever, but that's besides the point. I'm in between on how I feel about the drop crotch You know, it's not the worst drop crotch. There's more exaggerated ones But I think it suits me pretty well with the right pair of shoes next up. I have a pair of the autumn winter 2006 Junior Watanabe reconstructed Military cargos some little straps here and there some buttons. I believe it's made from a bunch of bags I could be wrong, but has a little grommet belt above the knee or thigh area, some inside out fabric right here, some raw edges, zigzag stitches all over, like an extended waist with a zipper going throughout it. A ton of details obviously, but they actually fit really awkward. They fit super high waisted, pretty short in the inseam, which is actually how they're supposed to fit. A few actual intended holes that are not completely shut. Which is a little bit weird, but took a little bit getting used to. The hems are super uneven. That's probably the more even hem compared to this one, as this one opens in kind of like a Y shape. I'm not sure how they fit. The only pair of shoes I've worn them with is my combat boots. I'm still iffy on it. I might be too tall for them. I'm not sure. Okay, next up, I bought a meme shoe, so if you unsub, I kind of get it. I bought the McQueen oversized sneaker. And at first, when I first saw them, I was like, those are just like the oversized Stan Smiths that they made, but they're a little bit cooler. I know that they look like the Nike Air Max 270s, but it's kind of a beefier version, a lot higher grade materials. They retailed for, uh, let's skip that part. I was looking for a chunkier sneaker that was white, because I tend to prefer white sneakers especially when they're low tops. But I didn't want a pair of Air Force Ones because I've already had them. I wanted to find something new. I actually came across these in store so the internet had no influence on this purchase. After seeing them, I went back the next day, I had to buy them just because, I don't know, I was kind of feeling Im impulsive. I don't know, I just needed a white shoe and I haven't been able to find one for so long. So I decided to buy this one. I think it suits me pretty well. It works with kind of wider cuts, obviously. I wouldn't typically wear this with skinny jeans unless, I don't know, I feel like rappers do that. More of a rapper type beat. These work pretty well with like track pants, sweatpants. If I had the Rick Berlin sweats, they would go perfect with these. I don't know, some people might hate these. I like them. So for a while, I've had this t-shirt, the Power Pop. I believe it's Dream Baby Dream, Spring Summer 2004. I don't believe that is what it is. I like this white t-shirt, it's probably the only white t-shirt I like. As far as white tees go and t-shirts on me personally, I have a pretty wide shoulder width, so I feel like Wider screen prints are more flattering on me. I don't know, maybe I'm just making that up. Then I came across this one that says Play Loud. The one I've been looking for the longest though, I actually have never seen this one until I got it, but this is the Play Loud one. Obviously deserves its own. But I've been looking for the blank generation one for the longest time and I finally got it. I had the brown one, I believe there's a black one, but I've been wanting the white one. I just think the overall sizing on the screen print looks super good. I actually haven't even tried this on. I've had it for about a week, but for this video, I'll have to try it on. Hopefully if it's good, or else I'll have to sell it. These are pretty much my favorite number nine tees. As you can tell by this whole rack, got a lot of them. I think I've had enough tees to make that decision. So this is my favorite tee. In one of my earlier videos, I was talking about the Undercover 85 and how I really wanted them. 
And so I just got in a pair. This is actually not my pair, not a personal pair, but it is for my store Silver League. So I figured I'd throw these in here because a lot of you guys wanted to actually see, you know, the cooler inventory that does stumble in. So the thing about this pair in specific is that if you look at the tag, it says undercover. On the men's pairs, it's undercover ism. On the women's pairs, it's undercover. It's a pretty easy way to tell. The men's pairs go for more just because of the fit. They are a little bit more relaxed in the thigh and the actual rise in them is probably twice as long as this. Out of most undercover pants, those are probably the ones that fit the biggest or most true to size. I don't really know what I'm saying. Hopefully that made sense. Since this is the women's pair, the rise is actually pretty tiny on these. I can somehow still manage to wear them, but if I were to get my personal pair, I'd probably want the men's pair because if I had slightly thinner thighs and I'm already pretty skinny so I don't really know if I want to go that much skinnier to fit these pants. I'd rather just wait and get my personal pair in a men's size. Hopefully that covered them. I mean you guys know the deal. You know you should know what they are. Maybe not. Maybe I should talk more about them. Similarly I believe these are from autumn winter 2009. I might have fucked up the year on that but I know it's earmuff maniac so you can just google that. These are the undercover 78 so this is technically the reissue or re-edition of the 85. I know there's a lot of numbered undercover jeans. What's different about these versus the 85s, there's obviously similar. Some people call it scabbing. It's more so just patchwork, whatever you want to call it. These actually have like a satin waistline, which is similar to the Dior Cummerbund. Not exactly though. And they do have the satin knees. It's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, super similar to the 85. So these are significantly cheaper, probably by half the price. So if you're looking for that style. Next up, probably my favorite thing in this video. I got the under... Oh. I got the Rick Owens Dunks. I was actually looking for these for one of my friend's friends. And I couldn't find a size. Stumble across my pair. So I ended up just buying them. And at first, these were going to be for the store because I was unsure how they're going to fit me. If they're true to size, all that. Got them in a 42, which is my usual true to size, and they actually ended up fitting me. I actually have been wearing these a ton. They're not as in good condition as when I got them. Surprisingly, I believe they had all the staples when I got them. But now that I've been wearing them, I think some of the staples have fallen out. Obviously, with Dunks, there's a ton of different pairs, a ton of different colorways. Some more obscure ones. Some more of the ones that you've seen on Instagram, which are like the... That's actually the pair that I wanted. Kind of goes black, white, black, white, black swoosh, white swoosh. Different inverted variations, but those were the pair I wanted initially. So when I saw these, I was kind of... I didn't know if I wanted them to be my personal pair or if I wanted to wait for the pair I thought I wanted. Turns out I got these. Super similar to Ramones, and I actually wanted the mainline Ramones, which are leather. That's why I wanted the mainline ones. But then I got these in, and I was like kind of a killing two birds with one stone type deal. So these are the undercover, these are the Rick Owens Dunks. Super iconic shoe, obviously the whole Nike thing. And the other reason I kept these versus trying to find another pair of the contrasting ones is that these actually go with a lot more clothing than the other ones. Cause these are just, these are just like black leather sneakers. I think I'm gonna end it here. Obviously I have a lot more clothes. I say this probably every video. I have a lot more clothes to go through, so I'll probably cut this up into two different videos because I'm getting tired. I need a coffee. If you saw anything in this video you want me to be a little bit more in depth about, maybe in like an outfit video or something where I can spend a little bit more time on each thing, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try and be more consistent. Hold me down to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Just wanna fuck on my dog. Maybe as big as the law. I don't want rest in the wall. Ain't no no cabin at all. Police keep tapping my calls. I'm spending rest in the mall. Diamonds inside of the vault. Wait, someone said I looked like 6'9 the other day.